Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is gonna be on this pop art inspired Halloween look. I found a picture on Pinterest that I was really inspired by and I decided to recreate it. And I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description box below if you want to follow along. I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be starting with a clean and moisturized face. And now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Pore Filler Primer and I'm just gonna rub that into my skin. For my foundation today, I'll be using my Black Radiance Foundation in the color Cocoa Bean, my L'Oreal Liquid Glow Illuminator in Golden, as well as this LA Colors Foundation in the color Ebony. And I'm just gonna blend this all out using an e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Then I'm gonna go in with that darker foundation shade and I'm just gonna use it to contour my face, focusing on the hollows of my cheekbones and around the perimeter of my forehead. I'm using an e.l.f. small stippling brush to do this. For highlighting and concealing, I'll be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the colors Chestnut and Fawn. And I'm just gonna highlight my forehead, my chin, underneath my eyes and around my lips. And I'm just gonna blend this all out using a beauty sponge. I'm also gonna do some reverse contouring underneath my cheekbones just to make them appear sharper. And I'll be using the same concealer and blending it out the same way. Next, I'm gonna set my face with my Ben Nye Banana Powder on a makeup wedge. And I'm just setting the areas of my face that I highlighted and concealed. Now I'm gonna dust off that excess powder and I'm gonna go in and set the contoured areas of my face using the brown powders from the City Color Brow Palette. Next, I'm gonna buff my entire face with my Black Radiant Self Focus Finishing Powder. And then I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Clean Ebony Bronzer just to warm up my face a little bit more. Lastly, I'm gonna set my face using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And now it's time to move on to the pop art portion of this look. To begin, I'm gonna be using the Graftobian Cream Roll Palette and I'm gonna be taking that black color and just creating those quintessential pop art brows. And I'm just kind of following the natural curve of my brows, but of course, you know, my brows don't actually <laughs> slant up in that way. But the idea is to make them look like they are sort of furrowed, like you're angered or saddened or thinking really hard. So that's the shape that we're going for. And I'm just using an angle brush to do this. I would suggest if you are using the Cream Roll Palette to set with a black powder or a black eyeshadow because I found that this really did not dry the entire time. And if you don't wanna do that, you could just use a liquid liner that dries matte. Now I'm going in and drawing the detail lines on the face. And this is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner. I did find that it wasn't as dark as I wanted, which was really disappointing because that was the entire purpose of buying it. So as you can see, I switched to my NYX Matte Liquid Liner, which gave me great color payoff, but I found that it was harder to control the lines and they came out a little bit wavy. If that happens to you, you can definitely just go in and clean it up with some concealer, which is what I ended up doing a few times. I wanted to use a felt tip liquid liner because I feel like you have a bit more control. And I'm just gonna draw lines along my cheekbones and my jawline. Now I'm gonna be drawing the lines on the body and I'm just once again looking at that reference picture to figure out exactly where they're gonna be going. And now I'm just drawing that little detail on the nose and finishing up the chest area. Now it's time for the eyeshadow. I've already completed one eye. Use that white color from the Graftopian palette and place it as a base for your eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go over top with the pink color from my Coastal Science 252 palette. And I'm just packing that on using a flat brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out the crease area using this purple shadow, just to give it a little bit of definition. And now I'm taking my NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner and I'm gonna give myself just a very little wing. For my lips, I'll be using this pink color from NYX Liquid Suede. 
And as I'm applying the lip color to my lips, I'm realizing that it is a really bright color. It's actually looking a little clownish. So what I'm gonna do is take some of that purple shade we place in our crease and just define the perimeter of the lips and just kind of ombre it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna go over top with that pink shadow we place on our lids, just so it's a bit muted and it matches the lids even better. And I'm just gonna repeat the same process to my top lip. Now I'm going to take that white color from the Graftobian Cream Roll Palette and I'm going to place that in the center of my lids. This is going to act as sort of a shading and it's also going to make the lips appear fuller. And I'm applying this color kind of haphazardly and I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. And now I'm adding a few more detailed lines. I'm adding a line underneath my lips and I'm also going to add some lines around my cupid's bow area as well. And of course, I'm drawing the black lines in the center of the lips that is so popular with pop art looks. I've now applied some falsies and then I'm coating them with this blue liquid liner from Wet n Wild. And I'm just running it along the underside of the lashes and a little bit on top as well. Now I'm gonna be adding that super cute teardrop that you see in a lot of pop art photos. And I'm using a liquid liner to draw the outline of the teardrop. And then I'm gonna fill it in with that same blue liquid liner we used on our lashes. And then for some shading, I'm gonna go in with that white color from the Graftobian palette, and then just blend it out using the other side of the brush. And that about completes the face. Now it's time to do the hair, which is one of my favorite parts of this whole look. For the hair, all I did was spray paint some Coke cans with the pink color and wrap them in blue hair that I picked up from the beauty supply store. So I'm gonna be highlighting my collarbones and my shoulders using the City Color Highlight Trio palette. All right, guys, that about completes the look. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And if you do decide to recreate this look, I would love it if you tagged me in it. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a marvelous day.